Olori to be loved by in a very serious shame. As we heard allegedly that Olori Kunomi's um, sister Simi caught her red handed with Kunomi's jewelry. Hey, hey, my people, no be smart, you know. What is happening? You don't reach that uh, that level. Anyway, sure. So how the thing happened was that we heard that when Kunomi left the palace, you know, the way Kunomi left, she left out of anger. She she doesn't want anybody to come and plead with her, come back or do this, because she was uh, too young then to leave. And the way she left, because of all the things that she had been seeing in the palace, all the maltreatment, all the neglection from KBAC, not caring for her, uh, side chick's problem, Olori's problem and all of that. Even only of her sister's problem too. So all of these things are the things that she faced when she was still in that palace. And when she now left, she left out of anger without any of her properties. You know, some of the things that she would leave was few of her clothes. You know she have jewelries and KBC can supply her jewelries like like tomorrow no day. You see? So when she left to some of her jewelries, majority of her jewelries are filled the palace. These people started stealing them one by one. One by one. The jewelries. You know that you lose squatter. They they can enter there and do whatever they want to do. Some sometimes if they will even uh, vandalize that place, steal a lot of things. That was when we heard that they steal Kunomi's, um, some of Kunomi's properties. And uh, that was when they steal that thing. So, I got to a point that KBAC was like, let them bring those stuff and keep in his own room. So that, in his own chamber, in short, in his own room, so that people, these Oloris cannot go there to pick any of Kunomi's properties. But even at that, they will still come and visit KBAC in his room now. So when they come, they will still steal some of the properties. My people, oh, <laughs> come and see insults. We heard that there was this uh, wedding that Simi went. That is Simi's, sister, uh, Simi's friend hmm, invited her to that wedding. And it happens that Olori TikTok uh, also came for that same wedding. That the two of them, they just jam. You know, uh, when they just meet unexpectedly. And immediately... Simi's eyes went straight to TikTok's neck <laughs> and saw Kunomi's jewelry that she was wearing. Immediately, you know Simi now? Simi is a sharp girl. Simi went to uh, Olori TikTok. Oh, did you come for the wedding? Oh, I guess you are beautiful. I guess this is my, my sister's jewelry. <laughs> it looks good on you. Is it is it Kunomi's jewelry? <laughs> they said that the way she asked that question, eh? You will be like, what is happening? And they, they said that uh, Lori TikTok, she's not even saying anything. Immediately, she, uh, she asked her, is it Kunomi's jewelries? Her mood changed immediately. And she was like, she wanted to eye her. Like, come on, will you stop talking nonsense? <laughs> so my people, uh, they said that Kun Olori, uh, Simi, Simi was like, I know it's Kunomi's jewelry. If you see... As in, Simi was talking to her as if they were having a good conversation. Simi wasn't making noise though. But when you now look at to uh, Toby's face, you, you hear that, you know that Toby is not in a good mood with that kind of discussion. I know it's Kunomi's jewelry. That is how you people took all of her jewelries. But don't worry, we shall see. And the worst part of it is that that jewelry is not just that Simi is claiming that it's to, uh, Kunomi's own. But you know, say uh, this some of the some of the uh, Kunomi's jewelries KBSC used to go and bring it from where they are producing it. That is, some of them they they write Kunomi's name in it. You see, so Kunomi that particular one was Kunomi. They wrote her name Naomi in it. So <laughs> all the TikToks stole the the jewelry and wore it, including that name in it too. It's not that if she went and covered it or she went and did something to make it not look like it is Kunomi's own again. Maybe she wasn't expecting that somebody of uh, from Kunomi's part will see her wearing it. They said that uh, Simi told her that you are going to see. Don't worry. 
We are going to see. This is how you people are going around stealing my sister's uh, jewelries. Abby, no problem. My people, okay. I was like, these people. There was a time I was hearing that uh, a lot of TikTok still stole Kunomi's uh, jewelry. I don't want to carry that gist then. I would, as in, I was like, which kind, which kind story be this one? Because some of these gist we carry. Sometimes I will even ask myself, is this true? That is why I will always tell you that they are all alleged information, no, my people. They are all alleged because we are not there when they happen. We are not there. And we, uh, as we just hear it, we just try to share with you what we hear. So I heard that in that last, think last two weeks from one blogger like that. I was like, is this true? But now I've heard it again and heard how, how the thing started and how they were able to steal Kunomi's jewelry. That was when Kunomi left the palace. They were entering Kunomi's Yeluwa's quarters, see if say, that place is their place. That was when they even went and see that Yeluwa's uh, staff. A lot of things, they stole a lot of things from Kunomi's sta uh, quarter then. Now, see we have caught this one red-handed. Red-handed. Sometimes if, if we are discarding, if we are carrying all of this, this some people will be like, hey, you people are, you, you do the poke nose, do the talk talk. What, uh, are you sure? What, did, did you see her? We did not see her. That is, that is why we tell you that they are alleged. But if you check that alleged information very well, you see that there is atom of truth in it. So when, when Kunomi left the palace, they were busy stealing Kunomi's property. Even when KBAC brought it and kept it inside his house, they were still busy stealing it. Stealing it though. Even the one that is bearing Kunomi's name. Uh uh. That, at least that one, nobody should talk, touch that one now. But they still went and steal it because they know that it is very costly. Kabi is still bought beautiful, beautiful thing for Kunomi. They themselves, they have their own, but that Kunomi's own is special for them. The worst of it all is that after taking Kunomi's thing, after uh, doing a lot of things against Kunomi, tomorrow they will still come back to Kunomi. Kunomi, please forgive us. Kunomi, please pray for us. Kunomi, this, Kunomi, that. My people, oh, no be smarting. If this is true, if Olori TikTok really did this one, hey, Olori TikTok needs to be pitied for, she needs to be pitied for because hmm, this is too much. This is too much. You're not just that you, you are presenting a other, another man's wife, another man's children to KBSC. You're, all, you're also a thief. Let me talk about her. Here I hear, I know call her thief. I did not to my people. Do you hear me call her thief? No. And the thing was, uh, we heard Simi said that Simi caught her red handed with Kunomi's jewelries. She was wearing it on her neck. Simi saw her in a wedding and they told her that, I know this is my sister's jewelry. And when Simi went straight to her, you know, somehow she will not dress uh, dust now. If she dressed dust, Simi would expose her to everyone. She was calm and, Kun and Simi went straight to her and touched this, the thing and saw that it was Kunomi. Hey, my people, what that shall never end though. Anyway, shall I just feel like sharing this one with you? Please don't forget that all of this just are all alleged information. Tell me